Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie. I have something very special from the Buy Sell Trade group that I had originally thought that I would never actually pick up. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how this thing is shut. Um, but one came up, I, I it was out of the blue, and I had watched Sam Plans or Sam Kelly do a review on this, and I had not thought about purchasing one because I thought it would be too small. And she did a comparison of this Chic Sparrow item with her Konkin. And so I was like, okay, if everything fits in my Konkin, then my, this, in my Fall Robin or Fall Raven uh, Konkin. I have no idea how to actually pronounce it correctly, but that's what I carry and I love it. But she did a comparison to the Breezy Tote from Chic Sparrow. Now, she had Jennifer Harvey sent her hers, but this one I purchased all with my own money. It was the same, actually the same price, a little bit cheaper. Um, the person purchased it and it was way too small for her. And so she didn't even use it. She had it for about a week and uh, I must have bumped you guys. So I'm going to point you out there a little bit. And so, and, it, and all of these have been so, sold out. And they've been sold out for a while. And I'm like, come on, I want to get one. And so when this one popped up and it was brand new and I loved the texture on it and everything, I decided to just bite the bullet, even though I'm over on my budget, to bite the bullet and get it. So this is the black. Oh, oh my goodness. Chic Sparrow. Um breezy tote. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just having this come out of that box. Oh my God. It smells amazing. Oh, oh my goodness. And, uh, it is in perfect shape. It has great, great texture. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. Oh, and it's in black. I wanted the black. Um, I have so many brown bags that are brown leather bags that I was like, I need another black one. And, uh, I, I did not like any of the black ones that I've had. And this is phenomenally gorgeous. Now I did get an insert, but it looks like that insert is going to be way too big. So I've had this for a little while. Um, I got it from my other leather bag from, um, uh, the one place with the stuff, uh, Portland leather, but, uh, and it fits that one, but I had hoped that it might fit this one, but it's not going to, that's okay. I will just have to find a small slip bag. So this is the breezy tote. So, um, and she sent it with the chic sparrow bag, which was awesome. So what I'm going to do, I literally just got this and I just got home from work. So this is my glasses case um, from Kate Spade. So we'll put that in here to go in. Um, and I'm just going to take everything out of my Konkin. And we have my wallet, my food journal pocket, which might look a little different than the uh, brown one. Um, I changed out my cover. So I went with a with my JT King leather um, in yellow and added my she, uh, Coco Daisy uh, crane. And I just love the colors. And I was like, oh, it looks so springy. But with this being a pull-up leather and an oil tan leather, I'm not going to put this in there and leave it in there without a bag. And then I have my... Chic Sparrow uh, Prometheus. I have my business card holder. I have my Chic Sparrow. Um, 
This is the Rustic Kodiak. And this is, um, or not Rustic Kodiak, Rustic Pouch in brown. And, I mean, you can tell I have not been gentle with it. It's got like a little, a couple of dings there, here and there. And um, it has, I mean, it just keeps everything in there. So that'll go in. And then I have my um, lizard uh, sack roots that I use. And so those are the two bags. And then I have my standard issue supplies. Um, this is my inhaler and my EpiPen and my inhaler extender. So that, oh, not quite everything. My Sheik Sparrow Nano in Daphne and then my uh, Harris Tweed uh, coin purse. That is everything that was in my Konkin. Oh, except for my Kermex and my phone. So all of this fits in my Konkin. So we will see if it fits in my Sheik Sparrow Breezy Tote. Woohoo! Okay, so this goes back in here. So this, I just keep all kinds of like lipsticks and medications and all that kind of stuff. So um, in this one, in the Chic Sparrow, and this one is a small, it's not the extra small, it's the small. And I have some Trader Joe's head to toe balm, which I love and found out that they only do this during the winter. Oh my gosh. So next winter, I'm going to have to, I wanted to get a couple more of these and I went in to get some. They're like, yeah, we only do that during the winter. I'm like, oh, so I have to get a couple more. And then I have nail files and a compact, which is just a mirror, um, some toothpicks, an extra set of headphones and more Carmex and, ooh, there are my dark silver wings. I love wings. So I'm going to have to pull those out so I put this back into my bedroom or into my um, a drawer box. So I'm going to put those back in there. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> those were not in there. Hold on. There we go. So first off is going in is that's going in is the Chic Sparrow. Uh, well, actually, well, we'll try it and see. So I know you guys are kind of close, but... I'm hoping, there we go. So there's that. And then here is the sack roots. Now I'm gonna actually put my emergency inhaler on bottom of that. So it's kind of stacked and then I'm just gonna turn it that way. And then that goes there. Then, my wallet and my two pockets hmm we'll try it that way cuz okay and then my nano can just slide in down there so that sucker is pretty darn full um Normally, I don't really carry my glasses case. It just happened to be in there, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to put... Um, I don't really want to put this in there because I don't want it to get all dinged up. But we'll put that in there for right now. And then my coin purse. I wonder. Nope. Oh. put those together actually just not I'm gonna slide that down the side because it's the rough insert on the inside so whereas in this pocket it's actually on the outside pocket it's actually finished and so I don't want anything to scratch either this leather or that so well the inside of this is not finished but that is and not that anybody's ever gonna know but you know but now I'm looking at it going, no, maybe I just want to slide my phone in there. Yep, that's going to be it. Um, so that will fit in there, but it is, I mean, it's, it's pretty crammed in there. But it all fit. And, uh... 
and and I mean it's as tight as it is in the Konkin. Um, the only difference is whoop, sorry guys. The only difference is I don't have a zipper here, but that's okay. Um, I'm five nine, and I kind of Greg always tells me I walk like a uh, little Captain Sassy Pants or Betty Badass, so I'm not really too worried about it, about anything. Um, getting taken out of it. We will see. I'm I'm thinking about shrinking this down because I have I have some thoughts, wild chaotic thoughts on some things that I want to do as far as my habits and stuff are concerned. So the two pockets might be coming a personal, might be becoming a personal. I don't know. We're we're gonna see. So we're gonna have it like this. So yeah. I think that will work for right now and those two bags at the bottom I don't normally get into very often um, and truth be told I could actually combine the two most likely because I mean it's just like random stuff that I very rarely ever get into and so um, we're going to think about that so but yeah so this is the breezy tote everything from my con can fit into it so it's it's not completely full. I could still put in my glasses case, but it would be it would just kind of slip around. Although I'm betting if I actually adjusted that a little bit, I could put the glasses case right there. So it is a chunky little monkey, but um, you know it's 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 there and it's not it's not too awful. So I mean it's no more packed than my Konkin. Um, and in fact, I, I actually kind of like it a little bit better because it's not like crunched down and I can actually just easily reach in and get what I wanted instead of having to unzip and dig in and figure out what, you know, is my wallet first or is my one of the pockets first. And so, and I think actually if I keep the po my yellow pocket in the middle, then I don't really have to worry about it because I'm not too worried about the Odyssey getting any kind of oil transfer and I'm definitely not worried about the Dublin. So I think that one will be fine right there. So, and if it does, it does. But I just wanted something a little bit more springy, even though I, 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 I understand that it's kind of, you know, you're putting it in a black leather bag, Amy. I'm like, I know. But um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it. And we will carry this and I will keep you updated on how it goes. But uh, that's the Chic Sparrow um, uh, embossed uh, logo. And then on the back, as I said, or, or the front. I don't know which is the front and which is the back. But I have my, um, this is a, a Samsung S9 Plus, And I have it just tucked right in there. And I think that'll work just great. That will be perfect. Um, Oh, and my keys will go in there, but my keys are hanging upstairs, so I didn't bring those down here. And they'll just go get thrown in here, so probably underneath my wallet. Um, but uh, I wanted to see how I like this first, and eventually I will probably get a black... Uh, uh, I would like to get a small pouch in the black um, waypoint and maybe a black passport. Um, to replace this, but we'll see. I'm going to test this out and see how I like it first, and then we'll just go from there. But those will be purchases way on down the line. But it does close, and so I could keep this underneath my my arm, and it fits, um, well, I say that. Let me just tuck it underneath. Oh yeah, it fits my shoulder just fine, and I'm a curvy girl, and five foot nine, so... The, the drop on the straps is just perfect. And, um, I mean, it's, it is right where my boobs start, but, um, this is meant to be a smaller tote and I don't really, I wouldn't really want anything too much bigger than this since I already have the Portland leather bag that's ginormous. This, probably two of these could fit into that one. Um, but yeah, I love this. So this will be a great little summer bag just to throw and go and I can dress it up and I can dress it down. So there you have it. My review on the Chic Sparrow Breezy Tote. And 
I am very happy with it. I'm glad I purchased it, even though I was like, ah. So, um, I will say it is honestly definitely worth the money on it. Holy cow. It is a beautiful cut of leather and it is super well made. Oh my goodness. I love it. And the straps, everything. The stitching is perfect. The rivets are gorgeous. And the pocket is, um, you can tell it's gotten some extra sewn there. So it reinforces that. Part of me wishes they might they would have riveted that, but then it would have like taken away from the aesthetic, I think. It's gorgeous, and I love it, and I'm very excited to use it. And I will fill you in in a couple of months and let you know how it has turned out. So if you have any questions about the bag, um, you can find all of the measurements and everything on, on Chick Sabero's website. And yeah, even though I blew my budget um, because I'd already gotten the Superior Labor bag, I saw this and couldn't stop myself because uh, I have wanted one since I saw Sam's review of it and um, they've been sold out. So I jumped on it. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay. I have since gotten one more package and this package contains one of my unicorns. And I was very thankful. Um, this person reached out to me. I'd put um, up on the In Search Of post on the Sheik Sparrow website. Or the Sheik Sparrow uh, 2.0 um, buy, sell, trade. Something I was looking for. And this person reached out to me. She said that she had actually seen my videos. And she had what I was looking for in a personal size. And I was like, well, personal, I don't use a lot. I have uh, two or three of them. And, but I have um, a very specific plan for this one. And I have inserts coming for it. So we will see. But yes, it is a Chic Sparrow and it's in a personal size. And it is in an Odyssey. So, let's see if there's anything else in there. No. Okay. I'm so excited. Ah. Hey, my goodness. You wrapped it so well. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, like I said, normally I would not have gotten this, but it is in a discontinued leather that I cannot get and I've been on the lookout for this for months literally months like six to eight months I've been trying to get something in this leather since they discontinued it and now I have a personal it, it has three rings and three different splotches although one of the splotches is kind of little dots but I'm counting it and Oh, oh my gosh, it is even better in person. Oh, this is the Athena leather. Oh, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, I was so close to thinking, okay, I'm just going to get it, get like the Kronos, but... Holy cow, y'all. So, the three rings and the two big dots, and I'm counting this as a third. So, she just said that the ink, the ink splots were just not her thing. And I'm like, I will gladly take this off your hands. It does have the old pen loop, which is okay. I am fine with that. Ugh. And it smells divine. And, I mean, it looks brand spanking new. So, I don't think she used this at all. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh. So, there is the Athena. I am still looking for an Athena in a pocket. And if I can find an Athena in the weekly, I will I will do that too. But oh, this is gorgeous. It, it is a combination of of the of the Odyssey leather, but 
I love my browns and I love my blacks and I've been on a brown and orange kick this year and this is just gorgeous. Oh, and it's got, it looks like uh, it's got like gray stitching to it, which is awesome. I love that. Oh, so yeah. So I have some Yellow Paper House inserts coming and what I'm going to try to do is convert my two pockets that I have in my handbag to this and do my journaling. And I may actually end up just putting my field notes in the back here, just slide it into that where I journal. And then um, do my fasting and my food tracking and all of that in here and my runs and all of that in here. So combine two pockets into the one personal and then this would fit in my uh, breezy tote and so um, theoretically take up less room it would just take up the the full length of the or the full width of the breezy tote so we're gonna try it and see um, in May I am going to be switching from the 16-8 fasting which I've been doing every third day um, I'll uh, so I'll like last night I did from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. or I'm sorry 6 p.m. to 8 no 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. Um, this morning and then I have tonight and tomorrow all day off and then on Friday I would do from 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. into Saturday and so on but in May, I am actually going to switch over to a 12-hour fast nightly. So from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., nothing other than water and coffee. Um, black coffee does not change up. I mean, it does break your fast slightly. Um, some, Well, it's controversial because some people say it does. Some people has to say it doesn't. But um, the only major difference that I'm going to have to do is adjust when I take my med morning medication and when I adjust when I take my nightly medication. So I'll have to take it when, as soon as I get home and because I won't be able to eat anything, including vitamins and supplements, after 8 p.m. So uh, I will be adding this and I will show you once I get it all set up and um, all of that, which should be before next Wednesday. So... Oh, this is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So I am loving this. Thank you, Stacy, for doing this for me. It is it is absolutely gorgeous, and I will 100% love this thing. Oh, my gosh. This sucker is never leaving my house. I love it so much. Oh, it is just absolutely gorgeous. So if anybody out there has any more Athena... I am totally in the market, so I'm looking for a pocket and a weekly, but I would like it to have three po three rings and three ink spots. Um, I can adjust that if I have to, but um, when she showed me the picture of this, because I was like, oh, you know, personal is not really, I mean, it's like my third favorite size, and then I saw it, and I'm like, yes, 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 I, I, I will take it. Thank you very much. Send it now. So, it is gorgeous, and uh, yeah. I obviously have blown this month's budget and next month's budget, but it is worth it for my unicorn. So there we go. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, spend the rest of your life celebrating. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.